Amen. 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 Today is Saturday. Amen. Amen. By this time, if you go to the house of some people, they are crying because somebody lost their mother. Some people lost their father. Some women, they lost their husband. And some men also lost their wives. But by the grace of God, we are here. We are not crying and we are not weeping, but we are just thanking God for what he has done for us. And if you believe you are alive today, just clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I would like to use this opportunity to thank Prophet Daniel Amwati wherever you are. God bless you. Amen. Because it is not easy to stand here. Here, it is not easy. This puppet is not joking. Amen. We are not joking. Where giants used to stand and play, if you know you are a rat, don't try to pass there. Because one step of a giant can break you down. But by the grace of God, this man has combined all of us together and we are going to our destination. And then I remember something that when Jesus Christ was calling the disciples, he called the educated ones and he called the uneducated ones. Amen. So some of us, if it has not been the grace of God, school cry and could be. Amen. Unko school. Amen. But when you come together with some people, you try to move with them. Amen. If you want to fly, you don't want, if you want to fly, don't have association with chicken. You have to associate yourself with uh, bears and horses, those animals that fly, the, the one with the bear, those kind of things. Amen. You have to associate yourself with the animal that can fly. Amen. Don't worry. We are going somewhere. Somebody will live here blessed. Don't look at my English. I know where I am coming from. Amen. From the village called Abinebu to Accra. You don't even know there. Amen. So it is the grace of God that brought me here. Because Jesus Christ called Luke, they are doctors. He went and called Batronomy and those at the seaside. They are just fishermen. And I don't think if somebody has been to school with their degree, the person will drop their degree and go and fish. Amen. Amen. But it means there is something for somebody. Amen. So me sometimes I don't look at my English, but I know that God, if you call me, then you have to qualify the call. Amen. So this morning, somebody you will live your bless. 
Amen. So, Prophet Daniel, I salute you wherever you are. God bless you for giving me this opportunity. It is not something that I will joke with it, but I will take it as a wet cap that I'm playing. Amen. God bless you. I salute all the leaders in the house. Yeah, mami peni fo amu ahe ni anya mishramo. Se ma ba na ma ba beta yechi. Yeah, papa obeba. We know those that when papa is not around, they don't feel like coming to church. When papa is around, they want to come with their burdens. And this time around, the instruction has been given to Pastor Ni. Take care of those who will be coming. And when papa come, I will stand here. And if you are not coming, I'll tell papa only hon we wa ma. We wa ma. Until you any. Amen. Aye, Juma ni aye. But we say manya mesa. Tumu amabano. E jaba. So unu ama me peni for we nyo amu ba. Tifia amu. Amen. I would like this opportunity also to thank all the pastors in the house. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. All the pastors. Pastor w uh, Wisdom, God bless you. Pastor Joseph, God bless you. Pastor Neil, God bless you. Pastor Richard, all the pastors. In fact, God bless you. Clap your hands for yourself. <laughs> Amen. 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 This morning, I would like to preach so that we enter into the word of God and then we'll pray and we'll be out of here. Amen. Amen. Why? And then we'll be on top of him. We'll be on top of him. We'll be some people, when they come to church and said, this one, when he's ministering, people will fall under the power. But this one, nobody will fall. Don't worry. If you want to fall, eh? if you see people are falling, you too, you can fall. The ushers will come and carry you. Amen. Don't worry. Some people want to fall. So when you say in the name of, ah, no, I told them. So there are some people like that. So if you see them falling, you too, you can fall. Amen. God bless you. Clap your hands for the name. This, this morning, I would like to preach a message which I have entitled, Don't Give Devil Attention, or else he will give you directions which you don't like. Amen. Amen. Don't give devil attention, or else he will give you directions that you don't like. Amen. We are, we are dealing with devil who is older than you and I. Because from heaven, he was there. And by the nature of him, God cast him down. Amen. Now, I want to tell you this to lay my foundation. There are three pastors who has problem and they decided to go to the mountains and pray. So when they go to the mountains, they pray for the church. They are coming from individual churches. And now they said that, let us pray for ourselves. So each pastor will bring out the prayer request. So one pastor said that, me, I used to take church money to bank. But any time I'm on my way to the bank, I take some of the money to take care of myself. So I see that so you have to help me to pray because I used to steal the church money. So they pray for this pastor. And then got to the second one. He said, me too, I am a choir leader. And then I slept with all the women in the choir. So I have problem. So help me to pray. Amen. They pray for him. Now when he got to the third one, he said, me, I am a gossiper. And everything that you people say here, if you pray for me, I cannot change. So if I go down, everybody will hear about what you people are doing in the church. And then one pastor said, uh, Master, you cannot take our personal issues to the down there. Therefore, you have to tell us, where did you learn this thing from? <laughs> am I talking to somebody? Don't worry, I am coming somewhere. I am coming somewhere. Don't give devil attention or else he will give you direction that you are not interested. The, the pastor said that, 
it is not my fault but even if you pray for me I will go down there and everybody will hear that you have been sleeping with the women in the choir and you too you have been stealing from the church so if you pray for me I can't change so I just don't know what is wrong with me he said why he said because of where I was raised when I was coming up the people that I found them around me all of them are gossipers and then before I will go to a certain level I find myself a gossiper ah, I don't know who I'm talking to uh, but somebody you are hearing my voice uh, I pray for you that may God never send wrong people towards you uh, people that will gossip about your situation but may God let good people come around you people that can help you to your generation people that can help you to your destination in the name of Jesus so yes now the side you tell us where did you learn this thing from you cannot take our personal issues down there we came here to deal with them so please amen amen now any doctrine that you pay attention to you will become the doer of that thing negatively or positively amen any doctrine that you pay attention to you will become the doer of that thing that is why the bible said that in the book of proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 he said that he who walk with wise will be wise but the company or the companion of fools shall be destroyed so it means that when i am working with somebody who is a thief and although me i am not a thief but i am working with an armed robber it's just a matter of time one day i'll pull out a gun and i will start robbing people am i talking to somebody in the doctrine that you pay attention to you will find yourself doing that thing whether it's good or bad so when you find yourself with weak smokers it's just a matter of time one day you will see yourself smoking weed and even you can smoke even more than them am i talking to somebody from today may God order your step may you be at the right place in the name of Jesus in the doctrine that will not bring profitable to you today I disconnect you in the name of Jesus shout yes amen in the doctrine that you pay attention to you will become the doer of that thing whether you like it or not Say your papa mo and any bonny mo. Amen. When you be to annoy your bear for or my way, you are in be eating food from them. It's just a matter of time. One day you will fly, whether you like it or not. But as for this, you are flying, you are not going anywhere, you are just going to destroy things. Today, I declare any wish, any wizard around your, your area that used to fly against you tonight, may they fall down and perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will show you something. Tonight, uh, this morning, I will show you something. Don't worry. It will go like this, uh, but we will go to a certain level. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 11. Pastor Robert, please, with humility, push me up. This morning, I was in the house praying. I started yesterday with Ezekiel here, and I couldn't. I said, Master, Mami Kofi, Mami Koyeniyama. And then I went home because I was to stand here. You have to prepare. Amen. I salute everybody. One of my friends is here. When I go to bank, he will be telling me, Professor, to me, I said, I didn't see anything. Professor, I said, Master, I didn't see anything. If you want prophecy, come there. And today, by the grace of God, he's here. Clap your hands. Amen. And today, I believe that the Bible said that the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. The reason why you are here, before you live here, may that thing be guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Matthew chapter 4, verse Matthew 1 to 11. Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. Yes. Then was Jesus led up of the spirit into the wilderness. Jesus. To now, be tempted of the devil. If the Bible belongs to you or you come here with the Bible, underline the word wilderness. Amen. Let's go. 
Verse 2. Jesus. And when he had fasted 40 days and 49. When he has fasted for 40 days and 49. We are just doing only 21 days. So you are not up to Jesus. His own is 40 days and 49. Your own is 21 days. And sometime from 12, 6 to 12. Some people, they break it. Amen. May God give us the strength. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Afterward, he was hungry. Yes. Let's three. Let's go. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the son of God, command that these stones become bread. Jesus. Verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written. It is written. Man so, shall not live by bread alone. Yes. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Jesus. Verse 5. Then the devil took him up into the holy city. Into the holy city. Set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Jesus. Verse 6. And said to him, If you are the son of God, mm. throw yourself down. Throw yourself down. For it is written, mm. he shall give his angels charge over you. Jesus. And in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Verse 7. Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Verse 8. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. If the Bible belongs to you again, and I like the word, if you will fall down. <laughs> Verse 10. Amen. 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 Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, mm. for it is written, it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Jesus. Verse 11. Then the devil left him. The devil left him. And behold, angels came and ministered to him. Amen. Clap Amen. your hands to the name of the Lord. Now, it is when the devil left him before the angels came. Are you here with me? It is when the devil left him before the angels of the Lord came and ministered unto him. Today, may your angel be released. Amen. You are not here. I said, may your angel be released. Amen. Amen. I see the angel of the Lord being released. On behalf of somebody. The good news that you are waiting for. The devil just came there to pray around your life. But I see the hand of the Lord. Resting upon your life. And the angels will help you. To achieve everything. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Amen. I will take it one by one. Now if you look at this scripture very carefully. It is very powerful. Amen. Yesterday, Prophet Bryce said, Solo, I hear that you are the one going to preach. I watch you. Make sure you do it with a sip of power. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. When you look at this scripture careful, there's a lot of things inside. But the, the revelation that God has given to me is what we are about to share. And that is where we pray. Amen. The Bible said that after the fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan took Jesus Christ to the wilderness. I was asking myself that God, why did this devil take Jesus Christ at least to the riverside or even to the city, but to the wilderness? And I was asking myself, what is the meaning of the word wilderness? And then I came to realize that the word wilderness means a place that is neglected or abandoned. Amen. A place that even human beings doesn't like to go. That is where the spirit took Jesus Christ to. And wilderness stand for a place without a communication. When you are when you are in a the wilderness, there is no communication over there. When you are in a the wilderness, there is no help over there. When you are in a the wilderness, there is no water over there. Yesterday, Pastor Joseph was preaching about water issues and things. And then I realized that you can be in the wilderness, but there's no water. There's no water. And when any time there's no water, it is very difficult for somebody to survive. And that is where the devil took the spirit of Jesus Christ to. He should have taken Jesus Christ at least to the riverside. Because the Bible said that the man is fasted 
for 40 days and 40 nights. And now, Jesus Christ, as a human being at that time, he was weaker and he needs something that will at least take him to another level. But this time around, the devil said, I know you are weak and I am going to try you if indeed you are the son of God. Somebody hear me. I don't know where life has placed you. I don't know where the devil think he has kept you. Maybe your situation will be like that of Jesus Christ. Right now you look around you and there is nothing around you. Sometimes the people that they promise you, you will call them on phone and they will tell you that the MTN number you are calling is out of coverage area. So therefore call back next year. You are like Jesus Christ in the wilderness. Your network is not working. When you turn around you, there is nothing. The only thing you are seeing is temptation. Amen. The man has fasted 40 days and 40 nights. He need water. He need food. But the Bible said that the devil came to him. So sometimes after the fasting, I was asking myself that after the fasting, what is next? After the fasting, 21 days, cabo, cabo, cabo. After the fasting, what is next? Amen. It was after the fasting of Jesus Christ, oh, before the devil came home. Oh. Amen. At least the devil could have come before the fasting so that during the fasting he could have dealt with the situation. But the devil came to Jesus after the fasting. Tonight, uh, uh, this morning, we are going to deal with certain things. You understand? Don't wait that I'll come and mention your name because you know your name already. Amen. If I mention your name, me, me found first with the Amrel. Amen. But when you deal with the situation that you are in, and you are out of the situation that you remember that oh, say boys na yehu amu say garden boys no amu so so nyami beti mi anamu amu so ide ay bibi amaye, amen. Yes, we on yani ye when Mary saw Jesus cry, he thought he was a garden boy, but it was Jesus, amen. Don't see me as solo. See Prophet Daniel and God inside me, and that is what that is what you are going to get your testimony. But if you are seeing me like, oh, so long, you know, there, Bibi, Pastor, you miss it. I'm telling you. Because we have been praying the whole night. Many Pastor Richard and Pastor Ezekiel. We have been praying, say, God, let me speak sense. Amen. And the word of God, it is not my word. He called me, so this is his word, and I'm preaching. Amen. So I know that somebody you live here like ever before. Amen. Yeah. Clap your hands. The Bible said that after the 40 days and the 40 nights of the fasting, the devil took Jesus Christ to the wilderness, tapped him, said a lot of things. Take Jesus Christ to the dry place. No communication. Nobody is there to help. The man is weak. Everything around the man is looking at the man is weak, but the man is in the wilderness. I was asking myself, the devil, you should have taken Jesus Christ to the riverside. At least after your temptation and things, he can get some water to drink. But the devil took him to the wilderness. This morning, I prophesy in the name of Jesus, by the oil of my father, any temptation that you are going through, that the devil know that you cannot come out of it. Anything that you are going through, that the devil know that he has done with your life. I see the hand of the Lord. I see the angels. It was when the devil left, before the angels of the Lord came. Tonight, this morning, may the angels of the Lord be released on your behalf. Any situation that you are dealing with, any situation that you are fighting, any battle in a family, any battle in your relationship, I promise Messiah, in the name of Jesus, may the angels of the Lord be released on your behalf. Shout, preach. I'm trying my best. Amen. Amen. The Bible said Jesus Christ was hungry. Sometimes you go into a particular situation and you see that Charlie Everything around you, you don't have any help. Nothing is moving on. If you go to the business, you open the shop, you will sit down there from six to the next. 
eight o'clock in the evening. Nobody will buy even one CD thing. And you use the money again to take car back home. But I came here to tell somebody that keep pushing. The Bible said in the Romans chapter 12 verse 12, he said, let the faith keep you. The faith that you have in the Lord, let the same faith keep you. Don't, don't go back. Don't look down upon yourself. Don't they so say to yourself that nothing is working. I come to let you understand that something is working. When you are down to nothing, God is up to something. It's just a matter of time. Everything is going to work together for your good. It is today that when you open your shop, nobody is passing by. Tonight or this morning, I prophesy any veil that the devil has used to cover your business. May that veil catch fire in the name of Jesus. Anything that the devil has used to break you, they are thinking that they will use that sickness to break you down. They are thinking uh, that they are going to use uh, that thing to break you down. Anything that the devil is using uh, against you, uh, uh, may that thing be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that he was hungry and when the temper came, he said, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. Now hear me. There is a revelation here. If you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. Now the devil is giving Jesus Christ directions. Do this, do that. Sometimes when you are, you are dejected in life, uh, there is nobody to hold up to them. Then you begin to hear voices. Now your friends will tell you, oh, I know one malam here. Let's go and see him. Everything will work together for you. Ah, I came to tell you any evil voices that are speaking to you right now in the name of Jesus. I block them in the name of Jesus. I block them in the name of Jesus. May every evil voice that are speaking be aborted. May the potential in that word against your life, oh Lord, let it be aborted in the name of Jesus. Any evil voices that are speaking that you cannot make it in life, you cannot see, that relationship cannot go on. I came to break that voice in in the name of Jesus, shout yes. yes. Now the Bible said that, the devil said, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. The Bible said that, and Jesus Christ looked at him and said, uh, it is written. Ah, can I, can I tell somebody something? Yes. Your marriage, it is written. There is, there is two things. We have the power of releasing a word and power in it is written. There is power in the written word and there is power in the spoken word. But the power in the written word is powerful. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody, your marriage, it is written. The devil cannot change it. That's right. That's right. He said, command this stone to become bread. Now, hear me. That is where I want to Check something out over there. So, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become bread. So, the devil know that when you are a, a son of God, there is a kind of power that passes through Jesus Christ to you. That when the situation is hard, you can command the situation to become soft. Am I talking to somebody? Because he didn't say, command the stone to become bread. He said, if you are a son of God, I am a son of God. So when I see the situation hard, I said, you, I command you in the name of Jesus, anything that you are bringing right now, I command you, let there be peace. There was a time the Bible said that Jesus Christ and the disciples were going to cross the river to the other side, the sea to the other side. And the Bible said that on their way going, there was a storm on the sea. And the Bible said that the disciples were afraid because they think that they are about to die. And the Bible said that one of them wake him up and said, Master, we are dying and you are sleeping. Jesus Christ arose and said, you men of little faith, this one is not that something that will kill you. It's just an absence of peace. He said, peace, be still. And the Bible said, immediately, somebody you are about to receive immediately testimony. Amen. He said, command this stone to become bread. What is stone? Stone is something that is hard. Hard situation. Hard relationship. Hard destiny. Hard family. Nothing is moving on. Amen. 
The Bible said, I said, command this stone. Even the devil know that when you are a child of God, you carry a certain power to command. So why are you not commanding that thing? That wish in your family, frustrating your destiny. Why don't you command them for today? I command you. If you fly, you will fall. And it will be so. Amen. He said, if you are a son of God, command this stone to become bread. Now hear me. The Bible said that Jesus Christ was hungry. And when any time you are hungry, pa, you, are, you are hungry to a certain level, eh? any food, if you don't take care, you will eat it. Today, may you never eat any food. Am I talking to somebody? I said today, may you never eat anything that you don't like. Situation has made you eat some things that you don't like. Because if you don't eat it, you don't have any option again. So the only option you have is to eat. The man who is proposing to you, you don't like him. But because people who gossip that, when you don't know who go away, so that, let me accept this one to my house. Today I prophesy in the name of Jesus, may you never accept anything that the devil will bring away. Shout Prince Solomon. That's what I'm trying to do. Amen. Jesus is hungry, Master. Or come with the papa. No. Why are you weak? That is the best that the best thing. Verse simple says four and one as a three. Ah, the Bible said that the man was hungry. And now you came to the man and you said, Command this stone to become bread. So the devil looked at Jesus look at Jesus Christ looked at the devil and he said, No, Master, my mingin are there with two. Right now I'm hungry. There is nobody here to help me. I don't have water. I don't have anybody to call. Even mobile phone, I don't have. I'm on the desert in the wilderness. There's no communication. Now I'm hungry. The moment I will turn this stone to become bread, the, the, the scent of this bread will make me break my fasting. I'm under the rubble, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Sometimes you have a friend, sir. They will come around you with money and you see the aroma of the money and you feel like following them. But the money is not good. You just feel the scent of that money uh, and you see uh, this is money. But where the money is coming from is not a good source. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Any rogue friend in your life tonight this morning I disconnect you shout yes amen the Roman father is at the back there let's give up to him amen we have one pope and then we have one Roman father so we are secure amen so we are we are orthodox and the same that we are the charismatic so if you are from the Roman and you are here, you have your your Pope. Yeah, the, the, the Roman father is there. <laughs> Amen. So Adam wa baby a ufi baby a yebanya hu sofo e di amau. Amen. Who ni problem? You know, tena haya ne yemko. Amen. The Bible said that he said command this stone to become bread. Jesus Christ looked at the devil. He said no. How can I command this stone to become bread? If I command this stone to become bread, I will eat the bread. So he said, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone. But everywhere that come out from the man of God give it life. Today, can I prophesy? Can I prophesy? In the name of Jesus. If your life is being shorted, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Receive life in the name of Jesus. May your business receive life. May your marriage receive life. May your destiny receive life. May everything around you that is going down, may it receive life in the name of Jesus. Shout yes. Amen. He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Somebody, you are thinking that, e, this prophecy, how am I going to make it? See, it is written in the calendar of God that a time will come. When you come, Prophet Daniel will not be here, but Solo will be here. It is written. 
you cannot change it. They are gossiping about you. You cannot get See, it is written. It's just a matter of a time. That marriage you are waiting for. Don't let them intimidate you with their words. Amen. When you are married and I'm not married, it's just a matter of time. Even if I get married today, my marriage will be the latest wedding in town. So your own will become old. My own will become new. So if somebody buy a car today, give him the person like two years, the car will be old. When I buy new normal plate, when I'm passing her, they will see where you're 18, where you're Am I talking to somebody? Your car and your machine. Amen. Amen. Some people are driving car. Some people are driving machines. Amen. Amen. Because who the sir that who matters niya yadi ya ubano ebe si Range Rover and Chanya who to miss a bakuya car and a bakuya di machine. Today may God let you drive machine. Amen. Car di wawa eh car. Car kuwa ebu wa eh machine. Amen. A radio fire come machine level. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said that and Jesus said, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. Now, I was thinking that the devil, at least, you have tried me with all kind of your stupid things and things. Now, you have to leave me alone. But the Bible said that and the devil also said, ah, come on about verse 5. Read the verse 5 for me. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the panel of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angel charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your, your foot against stone. It is written, the devil also know the Bible, so sometimes you have to be careful. Some of you, you are following pastors, but they are not pastors, they are passport. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. Some of the pastors that come, we will do you this. They are not pastors, so they are passport. They are just collecting your money to run away from the country. Am I talking to somebody? We have pastors and we have passport. There is difference between passport and pastor. Luggage and bag. So some people they are just bag. Some people they are luggage. Am I talking to somebody at all? May God take you from bag to luggage. You don't understand. See, I, I used to drop Prophet Daniel at airport, a lot of men of government. When they are going, they have bag and they have luggage. In the luggage, there are some things that must not pass through. And like, almost to me, Frank or two play room. And then I was say, crow war. Because the things inside are very important to you. Amen. That is the luggage. But the bag, need here. Today, I pray in the name of Jesus. May God baggage somebody in the name of Jesus that inside of you there is gold, inside of you there is silver, inside of you when you speak, uh, people that are lost uh, will find their way in the house of God. Uh, am I talking to somebody? May God bless you in the name of Jesus that when you open your mouth, you will speak only the blessing, not the cursing. Amen. The Bible said that it took Jesus Christ to the panel. I saw it like a Siena no, not the Nako Girano say. Till you hear Bano come to the Siena Cobesa. Oh, no, no. Of a friend that you're saying, Nadia Crana me. Sometimes you don't have to give some certain people attention to your life. Because the moment you are in trouble, the moment you are in trouble, everybody, you feel like, Mammy can't tell me. Although Penny Fosse, Uto Yali and Onyan do, but I know this new fool be answering your tongue, Yali and Mano. Am I talking to somebody? You think that uh, if I don't tell my problem, I will not see solution or I will not have any solution. But it is not everybody that you have to tell your solution to. Because some people, when they heard the solution, they cannot do anything about it, but they will just look at you and they will mock you. Amen. The word of God is a prophecy. So receive that one. I'm done. Amen. The word created everything. Everything. This word, eh, 
mayahu me kwa meti me Na media be jina no enya bete na me be jina na ma be kanya sa se o be sori ako but o yesu di munti no o sori nkoda amen o se na o hwe me no sa e rade be ma o ye die be pie no bia amen the bible said that it took jesus to the panel of the temple jesus Christ was shaken he said if you are the son of god throw yourself down See, let me tell you something. Sometimes, eh, if you don't take care, the devil will let you fall down. The only assignment for the devil against Jesus Christ at that time is to make sure that the assignment he carried will be aborted. So he said, throw yourself down. Do this. Do that. The moment Jesus Christ will accept one of them. Like our salvation will be, will be shaken by this time. Amen. So the assignment of devil at that time against Jesus Christ is to make sure that the assignment will never be fulfilled. He want to abort the assignment of Jesus Christ at that time. He said, throw yourself down. The moment Jesus Christ will throw himself down. Master, you what what bunya mimraso? God would have done something about it. But the moment you do that, what bumrano so? Some of you, now we did you. But Obia sem de 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 bi o malam no fa ukwa no wa masa o bi ani nit o bi free say ukwa sorry after mo bag to ana ukwa na ya dani bi biya edia is just a matter of time edia a one week pen on yami or what the man now break through aba to ukwa book to do you are falling down today anything that will make you fall that will let you meet your destiny tonight this up this morning I prophesy. May the power of that thing broke in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that Jesus Christ he said, and Jesus also said to him, It is written now, I hear exchange of words, but a battle and a course. Battle are being won by words. When any time that you have misunderstanding with somebody, Nani Panu Bien and No can send me at Tiawa out to Musa, I send Nani Panakano. I saw. Jesus Christ said it is written. The devil also said it is written. Now there is a battle in the realm of the spirit just against one person. In a battle in the realm of the spirit uh, that is fighting you from your mother's side. Uh, in a battle that is fighting you from your mother's side. Uh, ah, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the oil of Prophet Daniel Amwate, this morning, oh Lord, let that battle, let that battle, let that battle cut fire, cut fire, cut fire, shut fire. Oh. Battles in the atmosphere. Jesus Christ said it is written. The devil said it is written. There is power in the written word. That is why the devil know that you said it is written. Me too, I am telling you it is written. All the things that the devil is saying is true, but it's counterfeit. Sometimes what they are telling you is true. If you go, you will get the money. But it will not last. They were telling you, just go here. They will give you something. If you put in the food and you cook for your husband, your husband will love you. It is true. If you go, it will work. But that thing will not last. Am I talking to somebody? What they are telling you is true. But that is not the fact. I am telling you that what I am saying is the fact. Jesus Christ said, it is written that I should not tempt my God. Somebody, it is written. It is written that your business, you will start the devil is telling you you cannot make it when you look at the tar around you, the things around you it looks like nothing is working but I came here to tell you that God is our helper and he will help you everything around you is not working but your kidney is working everything around you is not working but your heart is working prophet Brian used to say that you said everything is not working. Okay, I hear. What if I give you the job that every month you get 20,000 Ghana CD, but I'll take your liver. What will you like? You 
get the job all right, the pay and the salary, everything is all right. But maybe you will be in a wheelchair. They have to push you to the workplace. What do you like? Sometimes the decisions you are making, they are good. What they are telling you is good. But you have to, I see an angel standing at the back there. Jesus. I see an angel standing at the back there. Maybe I saw for mommy, saw for Richard's wife too. There's a, Jesus, there's a key. Oh, I'm sorry. Seeing the angel, there's an angel in the house. Father, I give you praise. At least today, you have seen me, you have shown me a sign. Open your mouth. Just begin to speak into the atmosphere. There is an angel in the building. There is an angel in the house. There's an angel. You will see the angel stop. Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus. You know what? The, the, this message, if I if I want to preach, I'll continue one after the other. And a lot of revelations will be coming. Because the way I want to preach the message, I, I done it. I done it. So when I was preaching, it is written, it is written, I saw an angel. I was, the angel I'm seeing. He was holding something like luggage. Uh, Adiana, like Obi Dibronya, your package, Edin San, uh -huh, and the angel brought it here. And I'm seeing a lot of things. So we are going to pray. I will end the message in the name of Jesus. I will not miss this atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, we are praying that God, any gift that the angel came here with, as I clap my hands right now, I receive my own. Amen. Although our father is not here, but the presence of our father is here. Right. And father, if you can believe what I am telling you, and you can be on your feet, and you can pray, you will receive something. Somebody, you will just have just one testimony. You have just one call, and you say that after the message of Pastor Solo, I saw this. Lift up your hand. Jesus. Oya de ye mi re mi re Oya de ye on the way Oya de ye on the way Mi asha no Oya de ye Oya Jesus, Miss Rao. Jesus, Miss Say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, right now, right now, oh Lord, oh Lord, any, any evil, evil voices, voices that are speaking into my ear, into my ear, into my life, into my life, right now, right now, as I lift up, I lift up my, voice my voice in prayer, in prayer. oh Lord, oh Lord, let that voice, break, 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 open your mouth. I know, 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 I
ministering to me that some people have eaten some wrong food in their dream and it's giving them problem. It's just a matter of time. The spirit of the Lord is telling me that solo pray for them. Amen. Or if not, they will be hospitalized. But we are going to pray. If you are here, what's some dire pain? Say three days before today, and a dream that you are eating in your dream. It's a wrong food. It is not the food that you used to eat physical. Come forward. Lift up your hand. We are praying again that God, that gift, let the angel, the gift that the angel brought right now, as I clap my hands and pray, I receive my own. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Right, now, right now, as I open my mouth, as I pray, oh Lord, oh Lord, let the gift that the angel come with it. I receive my portion now, now, now. Open your mouth, begin to pray. If you come here with your water, lift up the water. Jesus, me jifu ni wu peja usa, me riba unyi nasi apua asaje rebo na sorry. Wamisu fa misie majinkwa kosisa ejerunu wamisu oma oma sisraimu sa toyome chijaji. Jesus, me jifu ni u me lift up your water, lift up the water. Jesus. 
Lift up your water. The first miracle that Jesus Christ did, Jesus. he used water. He turned water to become wine. My this God. is a miracle. Amen. Ah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. I declare over this water. Jesus. That God, if first miracle that Jesus Christ performed, he uses uh, water, then I declare that maybe you are here, you don't receive a miracle before. But may this water, you are not here, you look like now that you are coming to church. I said, but this water, it is your amen that give me the, the vigor that you believe what I'm saying. Jesus. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Because if you go to a fetish priest's house, he will give you directions. This is our direction. And if it's Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, the first miracle he performed, he uses water. My God. So the water you are carrying is not just a water. Madam, stand here. Jesus. The first miracle, Jesus uses water. Jesus. Maybe you are here. There is a sickness. Jesus. 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 That by this, by this water, as you take the water, Jesus, uh, my brother, you don't have water. You have to get the water because I'll come and pray for you. Professor. So you have to get, even take my own. Please give me water. Jesus. Jesus. Lift up the water. Jesus. Father, I declare. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. The first miracle Jesus you did, you use water. Jesus. Father, let this water perform miracle. Jesus. Father, as we take this water, Jesus. any hidden sickness that will take somebody to hospital. Jesus. I declare. By the unction of my father. Jesus. And by the oil. Father, let that sickness be flushed out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that you are expecting. Jesus. As you take this water. Jesus. Ah, may you receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you drink this water. Jesus. As you wash your face with this water. Jesus. In the covering. Hey. Around your life. Je anything that the devil I use to cover your real you. Tonight, this afternoon, or this morning, I prophesy Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Jesus. As you wash your face, may you wipe away that thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. oh Lord, I declare Jesus. that by this water, Father, give us direction. Jesus. By this water, Amen. Father, give us our liberty Amen. in the hands of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, free us now. Free us now. Jesus. Free us now. Jesus. Let their testimony Jesus. be released. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If you drink this water, if somebody projected curse over your life, that is taking you to your grave. By one mistake you have done. Jesus said, you're a vampire. Any mistake that you have committed, sometimes when you open your word, one mistake, now I do me. We are called to teach any one mistake, now I appear to call you a bomb, Massa, and your West. We are declaring in the name of Jesus that as we take this water, even if it is working against somebody that is connected to us, we declare that God let the freedom that you are giving us today passes through them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we set them free. Jesus. Anywhere the devil has kept somebody. 
Jesus. by the releasing of a negative word against our life. Jesus. Father, this afternoon I declare in the name of Jesus, Father, deliver our soul Jesus. from the hands of the enemy. Shout amen. amen. Professor. Professor. Furthermore, Jesus. Once, once I am I'm, I'm preaching about, I'm, I'm speaking, say, voices. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me that even if I can pray for this, my sister here, I will close. I'm done. Amen. Say, I should tell you, there is a limitation that has placed over your life. I don't know who you are living with. Say, no, my minute, you will not papa it. I don't know. When you want it. We are praying. What I saw and what she's telling me is true. Amen. We are praying right now in the name of Jesus. That limitation will be taken away. In the name of Jesus. I disconnect you from there. Amen. There are some help. You see it as a help, but it's not a help. You say we some people say I'm helping you. It's not a help. They are just taking you to a grave. It's just a matter of time. A strike. If it's strike, there's nothing you can do about it. We are praying. I ask her that are you living with your mother or your father? So that she's living with the boyfriend. And the spirit of the Lord is telling us to look, pray for the lady and break that limitation. That may God connect you to the original place. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for her. Father in the name of Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus. I pray like now in the name of Jesus. May God connect you to the original destination. Jesus, that limitation. I break it right now. 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 I did not have to do the one I am the Lord of 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 the Lord I break that in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Take it right now. Break. Jesus. We are praying for my brother. Amen. Amen. I know him and you also know me. But you are praying. When any time that you are working, the only thing that you let people respect you is when you have promotion. Amen. Amen. We are Juma. 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 We are promotion. And there are some promotions when you get them, everybody will see that indeed you are working. That's right. Amen. Amen. Some people have promotion with houses, cars, and even the salary itself for your blog. Amen. Amen. We are praying for my brother. He said, so look, professor to me, I said, I didn't see anything. Again, by the grace of God, we are here. Our father, prophet Daniel Amwatin, will be in the house from tomorrow going. But I'm praying in the name of Jesus that anything that you are expecting, as you set your foot here, Jesus. in the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare by the unction upon our father that as you Pass through the door. May you enter into another level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As you pass through the door of this church, may God take.
take you to another level. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that you are doing, ah, any evil eye, Jesus, that is after your life. Boss, and you are born to do it. And now we use demo. Send you one. And what they Amen. And we use demo. Amen. Any evil eye that is monitoring your life, Jesus. any body that is monitoring your life, any monitoring spirit. Wherever he's coming from today, Father, I declare that God, I blind that eye. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let that eye go blind. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God set you free. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From Monday going, I prophesy. May you receive good news. Amen. 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 Anything that you are expecting, may God give it to this your hand. Amen. May you count money that you have never seen some before. I pray in the name of Jesus that because of you are there at that bank. May good customers be connected to that your bank. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May good customers, people with substance, may they be connected. To that your bank in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that any spiritual embargo that the devil has set against your bank this morning, Father, let that embargo catch fire. Amen. Let men see the glory and the manifestation of the bank in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Clap your hands. Now, Amen. We are we are about to close. Amen. Amen. But somebody you are here. The only thing that you see in your life is that when you see that everything around you is moving forward. That is the only thing you want to see. Amen. You have problem and I have problem. The fact that I am carrying the microphone does not mean I don't have problem. Master, I have problem. But problem, they are not like load that everybody is carrying his own. But if God can open your eyes and you see somebody low that is carrying, you will put your own armpit and you will work like this. Because some people, their load is, Master, if God should say that everybody carry your load to Accra Sports Stadium, let us miss and share it again. Because Master, we may call you a check run, you may be a funeral, as you turn your media corner, it's you know, me and God grab you. Amen. You want to trust God with your substance, say, Rade. Say so for solo, how could school put?